Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey everyone, and welcome to Crazy Town Nick. So in today, today's episode, um, I skipped a word there. In today's episode, I want to start by sending my prayers um, to all the victims in Hurricane Harvey. Um, I I looked up what's going on there, and uh, some people have these like helicopter images, and um, they've been videotaping the whole thing. And man, it, it looks insane. It looks so bad. Um, like the whole city's flooded. There's no escape. Um, it's it's crazy. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are doing their best to get people out um, to maintain their lives. And you know, people have kids and they're trying to go to school. And half of this, half of this, uh, like half of this community, I think, is uh, neighbor neighborhoods and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I'm sending my prayers, and um, if you guys want to do donations, uh, they're all over the internet. All you have to do is uh, just look it up, and um, you know you donate first. I think to Red Cross, um, and then there's a there's a bunch of um, people who receive that stuff. But anyways, um, yeah. So I was looking into it, and and then this guy's name showed up. So he's a pastor, and his name is Joel Austin or Austin. I can't. I'm not sure. But Joel Austin has this church called Lakewood Church and it's a mega church and it and it has like 6 16,000 um seats at least so so when the whole thing was happening and the storm was on and like you know people were getting uh getting flooded out of their houses this guy wouldn't even open his church for people like like you should be the first if you have a church or you have a mosque if you're muslim christian hindu jewish whatever the fuck you are dude if you have anything like that, where you're like all holy and like into God and all about helping people out, you're supposed to be the first person to speak the fuck up and be like, hey, yo, we have 600,000 uh, fucking square footage out here. Um, does anybody want to join? You know? And they have internet and fucking food and electricity and all that shit. And a giant parking space. And they're like on a little hill or something. So like... It's just a safe environment. This guy did not open his doors. And that's insane. And then he got murdered on social media and shit like that. Not literally. I don't want to get sued for this shit. But like, yeah, like he got... He got... <laughs> um, they opened him a new asshole. I'm not, I don't mean any disrespect, but... I, I have no respect for him anymore because... As soon as he started getting negative um, social media coverage and negative advertisement and shit like that... Um, and he knew that that would affect, you know, how much money he makes. Because this guy, turns out, is a multi-millionaire. He lives in a $10 million mansion. Bro, if you're a man of God, but you live in a $10 million fucking mansion, you're not a man of God. You're a fucking businessman. <laughs> like, look at Jesus. You can't preach someone's wisdom and words and shit like that and just be like, l be like the people who killed him, you know? You can't be like the Romans and be like, oh, Jesus was good. Uh... You, you killed him. You know, this and this guy is so... He's such a hypocrite. Now that he has, like, negative media covering, he went out and he said, Oh, I never closed my doors. Uh, shut up. Where were you? Where were you for the past three fucking weeks? Two weeks? Where have you been at? You never closed the doors. Never fucking opened them, bro. It's the same thing. Oh, uh, um... Anyone who thinks that we closed the doors, we didn't. We just lost the keys. And, like, the whole... Everybody should be like, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, we understand. And then... But he never said, like, oh, yeah, you guys are more than welcome. Come in now. Like, what the fuck? It's like... We have the saying... Um, like, in, like, the Middle Eastern culture. Um, so when you're, like, trying to feed someone... Or, like, when someone's visiting you... You're supposed to, you know, give them, like, juice or food or snacks or something. You know, offer something. Be hospitable. And uh, you're supposed to... You're not supposed to say, hey, are you hungry so I can feed you? You're supposed to, like... Be, like, like give it out, you know, like feed people or like offer them shit, and like and like put it on the table, be tangible. But this guy's like, oh, if you guys need it, I can shelter you now. That half the fucking planet's against me. No, dude, fuck that shit. I feel like people do not should not donate for that. Like, this guy makes about like I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to give a wrong estimate, but he makes like millions of dollars, millions of fucking dollars every week because he has around fifty thousand. Um, you know, walk-ins every week up to his church who donate, people who donate. Like, dude, 
the, do none of those not like not even one of those fifty thousand people know that mosques, churches, and any holy um, holy place that 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 place is objective. That place is goal. That place is um, main um, purpose is to give out to the community, to to house people who need people who are homeless, to feed people who are homeless, to uh, to to put clothes on people who need it. To, to go to like the ghetto areas in that city like if you're in fucking mega church you go to the ghetto areas in the city and you give out food and you give out and you give out fucking clothes and you give out help you know water whatever the fuck you ask what people need that's how you like I, I don't understand I don't understand why I <laughs> I'm like 24 and I have to sit here and tell the fucking planet this like the, do we not have common sense do we not know this like I would never give my money to anyone who is just gonna take it and build themselves a fucking mansion like dude this guy he says like dude <laughs> like yeah um, you guys should give me some money because you know Jesus Jesus wants you to give me money or, or, or Allah wants you to give me money or fucking Buddha wants you to give me money you should give me money so I can go build myself a church and then go build myself a fucking mansion because I'm a pastor and I deserve it. There's, there's, there's no one thing that there's something wrong with that line. <laughs> you know, like, when you look up people's net worth these days, because it's so easy to do. This guy's like a fucking celebrity right now. He's a pastor, but he's actually a celebrity. When you look up his net worth and it's, a, it's like multi... It's like... Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. When you look that up, and then you think to yourself, wow, that guy's really successful. I wonder how he's doing it. And then you realize, oh, he's a pastor. Oh, I thought they were supposed to live a humble life. Oh, I, th- I, spos- I, th- I thought they were supposed to preach. I didn't know preaching makes that fuck much fucking money. And then you're tax exempt. <laughs> Your taxes up, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god, I can't even continue talking about this. But I don't know. I just feel like I have to tell, I have to express my opinion like that because I want people to take wise, smart decisions. Like, if you want to give money to 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 and like have God, you know, look at you and bless you and send you and sending you help and light and shed His fucking grace upon your life. Go give out your money to people who are, who are in need. Not to people who live in $10 million mansions, bro. Who don't even open their fucking mega church for, for, for people who are out of their homes and shit's flooding and they're fucking dying. And it's insane. It's insane. You guys are insane. Alright, enough ranting. I feel like my neighbors are going to f- start fucking knocking on me right now. Um, anyways, so let's talk about what we're drawing right now because... This is one of my favorite characters. He's uh, his name is Pudge. He's a butcher, and this is from Dota Two. Uh, Dota Two or Frozen Throne or Dota One, um, whatever. This game has been out for a long time, and one of my clients asked me to to do one of these. And um, this time it's not like a time lapse. It's actually just twice the speed because I wanted people to to see the way I shade and what like. There's a, there's a little there's a there's a couple things here that are kind of confusing like the chains. I feel like people want to know how wood burning chains would look like, and so we'll get to that. And like arms, feet, and like this abstract kind of uh, body. Like, I know he's fat as fuck, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I I traced him out first, and uh, by traced him out, I I had an image on like my laptop, and I would look at it and just like draw it. And um, I, I, I twist it, like I, I fucked with it a little bit. And um, this is like what I think, what I think what I like most to see from him. And um, yeah, I started filling the, out, the outline and then I started shading. And I started shading because I think, thought about it in a like, three dimensional way. Like uh, if you have an object, the, 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 a three dimensional object, the the particle or like the part of that object closer to you should have most light because you're looking at it straightforward unless you have like a sun positioned somewhere then the sun should be should should shed the light 
on the object. But if you don't have a sun, you're doing it the way I am. I do the closest object, in this case, for example, his face or belly. Those objects are always white, so you don't shed them a lot, even if you shed them. But you see right now I'm shedding under his neck, because that's, that's a little like behind his face. So you can give that a little shading. And then you can continue doing that, like the arm was behind, a little behind his back, so it's going to be darker. Uh, if you see how the right side of his stomach is kind of darker, because it's also behind. So yeah, you guys have to focus on that um, when you're trying to draw, whether it's three-dimensional or two-dimensional. This is two-dimensional right now, but you have to have that three-dimensional uh, perspective just to know how it'll look like if it was three-dimensional, you know? And then you can apply it on two-dimensional surfaces. So... Yeah, um, I really had fun doing this because I've always been a fan of this game and I've played it for so long. So this piece of wood is from, it's basswood, um, that's the quality, and it's from uh, Michaels in the United States, whoever doesn't have, if you guys don't have Michaels, <laughs> so like the Middle Eastern world or the European world or whatever the fuck's going on anywhere else, I don't know where the fuck you would get pieces of wood like that from but in the US we get it from Michaels um, it's a great place they really help artists out and I want to talk about Crazy Town Incorporation um, or Crazy Town Inc so it's the name of my YouTube channel and I want everyone to know that what well, my dream to for this for the channel for the for the brand name Crazy Town Inc um, and for my art shop on Facebook and Instagram account and all that it all goes back to to this dream that I have where I want to create uh, an artist community where Crazy Town Inc. will be able to help out artists who are in need. Um, for example, like if you're a grown artist but you're going to school and, and you, you're already working and like paying for school, but you're also an artist you know, and you want to follow your ambition, um, I want to be there for people like that. I want to be able to sponsor people like that. Um, these days when you're trying to grow on social media or even when you go to other companies and ask for like uh, their support or their sponsorship or shit like that, um, they're always they're always telling you the same shit. All big corporates are telling you the same shit. Um, we can't do it. Oh, you don't have a you don't have a degree here. You don't have a degree here. You don't have experience here. Um, uh, this is not the style that we want. Like a lot of people are a lot of artists these days are doing a lot of thought provoking shit. So like anti-governmental shit or like anti-media shit, you know, or like uh, or like monsters or or uh, whatever fucking flowers. And so these some of these artists, not all of them, some of them uh, will not be sponsored because it's not what the corporate wants the world to see, or it's not like it's not how it wants the world to to perceive it. For example, if we have Walmart and you go to Walmart and say, "Hey Walmart, I'm an artist and I want to make logos for you," you know, I know you have a lot of fucking brands. I want to put one of my logos on your brands. What do you guys got? And the first thing they'll say is, let's say you're a thought-provoking anti-media artist. So you're like, you're like, um, you're always doing shit that has to do with like, um, we, we don't want to go to war, or we don't want, like, we want peace or shit like that. Um, Walmart will not will not take you in. They won't sponsor you, or they or they tell you to change your art, change who you are, and then come back and work on other things. And dude, all I have to say to that is fuck that. Because we're artists and our job, or like the reason we're artists is, is there's a bunch of fucking reasons, but mainly is because we have, we have an idea, we have an, like an outside the box idea, an ideology and thoughts. And we want to be able to share those thoughts and open people's eyes and help people fear, feel relief not fear, but feel relief and provoke their thoughts and uh, you know there's a lot of things in life that sometimes you see or you want to express and you don't have the words for it, but you'll see it in a fucking picture and you're like fuck dude that's exactly what I've, what I've had on my mind for the past month or, or shit like that you know sometimes you see like a you see a picture that is so beautiful and you're like wow I, I can really relate to that and that's the reason there's artists out there and if you start limiting those artists you're creating a community where, where, where we're like we're creative free. Like you guys are sucking the fucking creativity out of it. And so fuck corporates. Number one. Number two. Help support Crazy Town Inc. 
by whatever you want, dude. Like, if you guys want to donate, I don't mind. If you guys want to uh, buy more art, like send more commissions, shit like that, put me to work, I want that because it'll help me grow and eventually it's serving a good purpose. Like, I'm not in it, I'm not in it for the fucking money. I'm in it for growing the community. I'm in it to be able to sponsor artists, help them out, you know. If you, if, the other day I went to buy pens. I went to Michael's to buy pens. It's not Michael's fault, fault that the pens are expensive as shit. It's the corporate's fault, the people selling them through Michael's um, that make the pens, that make them so fucking expensive. And it's so hard to get sponsored by them. It, like, holy shit, you know? So, yeah, I want, I want to be able to do that. And I want to be able to reach out to every people, people in colleges, people who are grown who are grown as fuck and never had the chance to, to draw or paint or, or fucking write books or poems or make music or anything like that. I'm thinking big and I want, I want to create a team eventually um, when we grow bigger as a community. I want to, I want to create a team of people who are self-leading and who share um, the same or similar ideology to, to what I have, you know, who are not in it for the money, but are in it to help people out and to help people reach their goals and ambitions and shit like that. And it's, I feel like we really need that these days. Like, we really need that. Like, we need we need to create a community where where it's a, it's a bunch of young people. And by young, I don't mean, like, you're fucking, you're a teenager, but, like, maybe between, like, 18 and, like, 35, and because because between that time span, your mind is a little more fresh, and uh, like until after thirty five, because you haven't really settled in a career, you haven't really like bought a house, start building a family and shit like that. You're not really in debt, so so we need we need team or teams and people like that who who can, who are very versatile and can brainstorm project projects out of their fucking ass. And create a huge difference in communities, and be able to affect their cities and their states in in like great ways, and even their countries. Because I come from a country where we don't have any fucking artist support. Like the only artist support you get is if you're doing something traditional, or if you're kissing people's ass. And you know what? Fuck people's ass. I'm not 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 fuck. I don't know. <laughs> not fuck people's ass. But like fuck kissing people's ass. You know? You want to be able to get respect. Uh, respect for what you do, not for how much ass you kiss. And that's what I want to do eventually and be able to help people out with. So please, um, however way you think you'll be able to support Crazy Town Inc. and the channel and all the social media, go ahead and do it. But subscribing helps, following helps, um, just asking for me to make art helps. I even have both of my stickers right now, um, the one to the right and to the left, the white and brown ones. Um, so yeah, they're they're uh, I, so I create these just like I sell them, but I want to have the name out there. That's why I did that. Like people are putting them on the bumper cards, um, people are putting them on 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 their fucking laptops. When you go to a coffee shop, the fucking name's there. We're like a little cult, you know? We're not a cult, but like we're like it because we're a community and we're gonna we're gonna grow. We're gonna fucking kick ass and we're gonna break out of this box that. The, like fucking corporates and million dollar people and companies have created and we're gonna be able to do whatever the fuck we want and reach out to anyone we want because that or not should not be limited like that they shouldn't limit us and, and think that it's okay fuck that it's not okay we have freedom um, I know a lot of people who are art, like artists like me who struggle so hard and it sucks but um, enough ranting about about art and shit like that and uh, let's talk more about the fucking weather it's been fucking crazy like I go out I've been like I've had like a lot of free times for, for uh, a lot of free time for the last like four days and all I've wanted to do is go to a park like a downtown area and paint that's all I want to do I just want to go get my shit because I have this like cool ass fucking kit that I got for Christmas and I just want to go out there and paint and every time I go out I don't know what happens like it'll be sunny 
it'll be sunny and then I'll go out and then like with all my shit and like I have a bunch of shit I have like a tripod and then the fucking bag and then and then the, the, the canvas and then the canvas holder and then the keys and shit and water and I go out and as soon as I like walk out of the door it's fucking raining like hold on hold on am I in what's that fucking movie called Am I in, in the Truman Show? Am I uh, in fucking Alaska? Because last time I checked, it was in Michigan. What the fuck is going on outside? And then I'll go back inside, and I look, and I'm like, fuck, dude, I can't. I can't go paint. You know, I can't paint outside. I have to paint inside. And then I'll look outside, and it's fucking sunny. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And as soon as I peek my head back out, it's raining. And I'm, now I'm having these like conspiracy thoughts against my fucking existence, and I'm like, "What's going on, dude?" Like, and I'm looking around, like, "Is it my fucking neighbor?" No, no one, no one has that much water around. But shit, I am getting so sick of this fucking weather, dude. And I feel like we didn't really get to enjoy the summer. I mean, a lot of people have enjoyed their summer, but if you're a Michigander, you only get to see like 60% of summer. Because if you're in Michigan, the weather is like this. The weather is like, oh, we're summer. But you know what? Fuck summer. We're going to have a little bit of fall. And by the way, speaking of fall, I was I was talking to someone the other day. And I was like, I was I was naming the seasons. And then when I reach fall, I go, I go autumn. And that person looks at me like I'm this alien, you know? And they're like, autumn? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, why do you use that word? And I'm like, I don't know, it's just the first word that came into my mind. And they're like, it's fall. So I'm like, no, it's not fall, it's autumn. And they're like, no, it's fall. And, so, and then we go back and forth, and I look it up. And dude, in the 1300s, that's when autumn, like the word autumn came out, and I think it originated from like a Spanish origin, like autumnus, or, or shit like that. And I feel like that's like such a great word, like it's such a poetic word and so, so expressive. And I feel like if aliens ever went down and they were like, Hello, we are here because we want to study you. What are your seasons? And you know, this my fucking friend, the dumbass goes, Oh, we have a fucking winter, spring, summer, and fall. They're like, oh, okay, interesting. And then, you know, like, later on, they were just, like, they were just having a conversation with the aliens. And then he goes, oh, I almost, or, or, be careful, don't fall there. And they're like, I thought fall was a season. And you're like, no, fall, as in, like, you're going to fall, like, because gravity, you're going to fall, it's going to pull you, you're going to hit your fucking smash your head and die. You're going to have juice everywhere. And they're like, oh, that's so stupid. Why do you have two words that have, don't have the same meaning but are also the same word? What the fuck? And then they fucking shoot everyone. And then, and then you're having like this fucking post, post-apocalyptic world. And we're here uh, wondering why the fuck Egyptians built the pyramids. That's literally what happened. Some idiot came out with two words that have the same meaning. And was like, oh, let's, let's call fall a season... Because fuck autumn. And then let's also call fall falling down. Because that's fucking smart. If aliens ever come down, they'll, they'll just understand because they're aliens. Uh, no. That's literally how we ended up here. Not knowing what the fuck is going on in history. By the way, does, ever, does anyone ever watch that the, like, the history stuff? Like, the history channel or like the alien channel and, or like whatever the fuck sci-fi shit comes out? I feel like it's always so crazy, dude. Like, some like when I was a kid and I would watch the Discovery Channel, they would have, um, they would have cool, like philosophies or like theories. But now they're like, they're like, oh, so, so we 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 discovered this place on accident. One of the farmers in the villages, he was with his goats. And the goats were just eating. And one of the goats, she's a female, and we all know who she is. (laughs) 
Yeah, so this fucking goat, she decided she was going to run away for a little bit because she's like that, this fucking goat. And so the shepherd had to go follow her. And so she kept, you know, walking around and eventually she fell in this hole and the shepherd had to jump right behind her and suddenly he found this ancient Debris. <laughs> Hold the fuck on, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Like this, go. Okay, first of all, <laughs> first of all, this is fucking, this is like Discovery Channel. Why are we talking about goats? You know? And why does this goat sound like a random, like, person or, like, neighbor or actually a human? That they're trying to, like, hint because they, they, they're sick of this person trying to fuck all the shepherds? <laughs> oh, man. But anyways, so yeah, like, so yeah, so then they'll say, so then he encountered this ancient depress. And we think that it goes back to millions and trillions and trillions of years. Trillions and millions and trillions of years ago, someone decided that they're gonna make the spoon. And this is when this is where this culture got the spoon from. And it's like a fucking spoon, like from Myers. It looks it literally looks like a dirty spoon from Myers. And but they have it like on camera and it's like 4K HD as fuck. And they're like, yeah, so this spoon is trillions of trillions and trillions of years ago. And and we think that the aliens came down and taught these people how to make spoons. And because people didn't need them then, but they knew that we would need them now. And they knew that people then didn't have any bowls or, or plates or anything that they, we do use the spoon for to eat but they knew that those people would eventually grow and we would find the spoon and we would have it admired and we would buy it and we would need it. Like am I the only fucking one who, who thinks that that's all bullshit? Like anything about ancient life is bullshit? Or anything about fucking pyramids is bullshit? Like, what the fuck are you guys hiding? Can we... Can someone tell us? No one's gonna tell us. Trillions and trillions and gazillions of years ago, the goat, and we all know who she is, she was running around, and the shepherd had to go get her, and they both fell in the same hole, and they found the spoon, and we're assuming that there's more ancient debris around here. <laughs> what the fuck is ancient Depras, dude? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I just want... I just want some answers. Because we have so many questions and no one's answering them these days. I feel like even becoming a scientist or like... I don't know what. Like a fucking professor or something. Or like a philosopher. In 2017, it's not going to get you anywhere. Because you're not going to get a paycheck. And you're not going to make a great discovery. And the only thing that they want is consumer products that will fill up the fucking eyes and, you know, fucking social media of the people who are the consumers, who are the zombies, who will donate to someone living in a $10 million fucking mansion, bro. Why would you ever donate to this person? He doesn't even need it. They don't even pay taxes. God damn it. God. Damn. This ancient spoon is old Depress. And we have found it because of this shepherd. And now we are digging. And then they'll find, like, they'll start, they'll start finding random shit. Like, they'll start finding, like, vases and shit like that. And be like, oh, this is, this is actually from Europe. Like, they'll be in, like, North America or, like, South America. <laughs> And they'll, they'll be like, oh, this sand is from Europe, and we don't know how it exactly got here, but it did, it got here, and that's alien shit. And so, yeah, we can't, we're, our scientists, and then the scientists always come in so dramatically, dude. Like, the scientists are always like, <laughs> they're always sitting 
in this like dark ass room and there's just like one person and they have crazy hair like crazy hair and they're wearing the weirdest shit like a, like I don't know like long fucking hair like crazy fucked up spiky hair with a lot of fucking gel on it and then the thickest eyeglasses <laughs> and they're wearing black on like yellow and they're sitting on this chair and it's like a dark room but there's only light on them and the light is so sh like it's so bright that they can't they can't really see or like look into the camera <laughs> so they're just like looking into blank space they're just looking into blank space and you can look in their eyes and they can't like really focus because the light is so fucking bright and then they start talking and it's insane it's like it's like so, so the conspiracy that behind this uh, philosophy that the researchers have found uh, from Jonathan Smith and uh, as other people and executives um, uh, have discovered that um, in the intergalactic uh, force that has uh, ground waved through the gravity and the uh, sculpture of all the ancient um, elements and uh, coupons, and they're like, oh, hold on, you can't, coupons, don't say coupons, and then you're like, oh, I'm sorry, uh, all the cauldrons that they uh, have found all these spoons in bro first of all like people watching discovery channel are like you know like you're either homeless watching discovery channel <laughs> or you're just like someone who's interested in like knowing some more information and is just chilling on their couch with like a fucking juice or pop or whatever in your hand and you're just trying to chill the fuck out and like watch something cool and like see some good footage and they're like, this cauldron was found and there were spoons in it and it goes back to the sand of random times in Europe and it's millions and trillions of years old. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine you're sitting on your couch and this person who has really thick eyeglasses, crazy hair, and cannot see because the light is obviously too bright in their eyes, is just talking about how this sand is from Europe but like you're in like North America. Like, bro, what the fuck do you expect me... To, how do you expect me to react? How do you expect us to react? And now, <laughs> you have people who are scientists who are losing all their fucking business and they have to lie to the fucking community to make money. These spoons are millions and trillions of years old. By the way, does anyone... Does anyone play Assassin's Creed? Um, so, if, if you do know the game... You probably already know it's sick, but if you don't, you should you should look um, into it, cause and you should only look at like the first four versions of the game, like the first four I don't know seasons or like the the, the first four Assassin's Creeds that came out, cause everything else was just like mainstream as fuck and they ruined it, but the first four are very they're very um, thought provoking and they have a lot to do about um, going back in someone's DNA, finding their memory line going back into their ancestors and be able to relive all that and find out what happened in history. And that's fucking insane. And they, they, they sit on this thing called like the animus, I think. I'm not sure what the word is, but it's like the most weird fucking word that like cannot be false because it sounds so good and like it, fix, it fits the machine so perfectly that I feel like they're actually it's actually out there. Like, someone's, like, trying to put it out there, but, like, can't really tell us, so they put it in a game. But, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, it's, like, a great game, and it, and it feels, sometimes it feels more true than what you fucking see on Discovery Channel. You know? And last week, I think, not last week, like, a couple weeks ago, or, like, the last video I came out with, I was talking about how someone in Germany, who was, like, a scientist, was farming fish. And they were sticking a straw in the fish <laughs> to get the eggs out and like suck the eggs out and okay what the fuck dude have you ever like dropped everything at once like I just dropped everything I have on my desk at once <laughs> like oh your phone goes oh there's gravity okay and then your phone falls and then your fucking watch falls and then everything's falling for some reason What's going on? But yeah. So coming back to the drawing. Uh, 
I found these pens and they're they're Prismacolor. They're expensive as fuck again. But yeah, they're they're uh, they're pretty cool cuz they fit perfectly on wood and uh, they don't really dry out. Um, actually that green one dried out, but it's just because I've used it so many times and it's old as fuck now. But all the other ones are pretty cool and they work they work great on wood and it's Prismacolor and um, it's called like Prismacolor Premium and it has like two heads, one's a thick one and one's like a smaller head and I kind of use both but yeah I used I use that to, to get all these colors and for red I used it's called Recollections so the pen's called Recollections it's like a white pen that has like a this one has like a red dot on the top and it's made in Japan and for some reason everything that's made in Japan is fucking great thank you Japan for being the most technological technologically advanced country on, in the world um, so I think this wraps it up for now if you guys really enjoy these episodes or like podcasts or rants or whatever you want to call them uh, please feel free to subscribe and show some support leave some input uh, that will definitely help and uh, again we're, we're creating a community here Crazy Town Inc. is a community to help grow artists and break free from the chains that corporates have designed for us because we want to be able to create our own free image of the world and be able to create like free art you know that that is because you, you guys want another Mona Lisa right you want another Picasso or however you say that <laughs> but you guys want to see that and the only way we'll see that is through like supporting artists and and helping them break free from the fucking financial financial crisis that they're always in it's like it's, it's like a fucking movement like every artist these days is like a starving artist and I'm not saying I am but like I've, I've witnessed a lot of people who have so much ambition and so much talent but it's so hard for them to grow and I really want like I'm that type of person who wants who will go out there and like well, I will fight for what's right, you know, and I, and I will want to make a difference forever. And uh, that's why I need everyone's support. So again, I really appreciate whoever's been supporting me. And if you're new, click that subscribe button, find my social media pages, and uh, follow, share, like, and hit me up for any commissions. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I hope everyone's having a peaceful year, and that this year is all full of progress and love. Peace out, everyone.